Happy Happy New Year's to everyone. A brand new year and a brand new way of looking at all things and being the best we can be. I know it has been a while and so many things have been going on not just with me but everyone across the board that this is the best time to get it all going. Thank you for all the emails asking about this year's energy as we say goodbye to a wonderful year of love, passion, creation and truths. Some may say it may not have been the best year for those truths but in actuality it truly is. For that which we face in truth is that which we can then say goodbye to bring in a whole new you. But these energies do not stop there. We entered the years of the Christ illumination and everything we have just keeps building upon the platform of the last years. This building of energies is the outline of the truth within. As we take the time to look back at all that was before us, all that we have already lived through, we can see the correlations of that which is in the cycles of previous history completed through time. This is the year of revelations to reveal all things on all levels is one that is very surprising and yet not so surprising to many for this is what you have been seeking in your quest to understand, am I on the right path? And by the way, Yes, you are on the right path and look where it has taken you. You have come so far in your growth and development of understanding who you truly are. This is the enlightening stage. This has to be the greatest gift one can give to thyself even though at times it might not have looked that way. I have to laugh as no one likes to take an in-depth look at their own self but why not? Everyone looks at you each day of your life in one fashion or another, so why not join them and really take that look to you? Aim. What will you reveal to yourself by doing this? Many things will become more apparent as you start to do this as no one and I mean no one really wants to take a look inside to see what lies there. But I have to laugh yet again, as what lies within is what has been created all of your life. So you know the journey you have taken, you know the ins and outs of yourself, you have already lived through it so what is so hard about looking inside to see what you see? As I teach, you have already lived through the fear, so why keep living with it? Aim. Just as each day what is it you create in your day, what do you create around you, what is it that then makes the creation your journey? Every step you take, every individual you meet, every decision you make creates the journey in which you walk. So who is really the creator or what has been your path? Well, let's see. Add in the decisions you make and the individuals in your life, the experiences that you partake in. Do not forget society and the rules in which you are told to live in accordance to others around you. The factors that you have allocated to others with decisions that are very important to you and your family. Um, society's rules once again. Oh yeah, those rights that you have given to others to make decisions for you. Okay, it's the same thing. Then yes, you can see the path that you have been walking. Now take into consideration the awakening, the urges that have been driving you these past few months or years. The unexpected impulses to make you look more outside of the box, even if you believe you have been living outside of that box, the sudden urge to move from your present location or do things that you have never done before and you can see that you have been guided and pushed and sometimes made to be an example to those around you and where has that taken you or where has that gotten you? We can take this back to free will as many know we all have the free will of choice and with this we have made decisions based on that free will of thinking. We have decided to be the best we can be. We have decided to go to the next level with everything and at times we have put off and we have also placed things on hold as to that which we believe are more important things to get done at that moment of time but we will get back to it. As many know Mercury retrograde is that time to get done all things we place on hold or push aside for the time being. Next thing you know, you are then looking at that which you said was not important enough to deal with or do, this then builds up to create an emotion of looking back to see what we really did not take the time to do, this then either brings liberation or depression for many. 
to then see what we did not complete or finish is very disheartening to many and to others oh well, just another thing back on my list to do. So what does your to-do list look like this coming year? And have you added yourself in that to-do list? With this energy this year we are looking at revelations, why were these things really not done? Is it you did not want to deal with them? Is it that you did not have enough time in the day? This is a great year to reveal to yourself all that you truly are, all that you have the power inside of you to accomplish and get done. Whether if it is to say goodbye to an old friend or hello to a new, it will all be about what is revealed to you. And by the way do not leave out compassion as you are going about your day. How many times do you really give compassion to others or to yourself? In this Revelations it is said that the time of history shall be revealed to all, that which they so seek within themselves, TBM. Many people will be seeking compassion from those around them, it will be for those who say they have compassion to really step back and see if they truly do have compassion for others and for themselves. For many want to blame another for their weakness without ever having to look deep within themselves to see their own, so many energies have hit so many individuals who we have always looked upon as being the strong one, does not anyone ever realize that if that individual is strong, compassion for another human being is what gives them their strength and uniqueness in being human too. As we see this we must remember there shall be much judgment upon the world as when these energies really roar into view there shall be much to see and it will be for the individuals to not place their own judgments on another and what is going on. For to judge another is to judge that which you yourself speak and live. Each individual in the world right now has their own uniqueness and path for them to follow and walk just as with each individual has is a free will of choice. Will your path be the same as another's beside you? Yes and more importantly no, for if I walk the same path as the individuals beside me what makes me as unique as the other? What makes me any different? What makes them any different than I? We are all in this for a reason and those reasons have been revealed to you time and time again and will continue to be so. We are all spiritual beings who have chosen to be here, we are all living that which we are here to live. If I am here to give to you an opening of discovery then yes, the individual beside me will give to you an opening too, but it will be the aspect in which you need which will not be the same aspect as I have given to you. When you add both of these aspects up it will then give to you the parts which is needed to begin to make you whole. When we have chosen a book that catches our eye we quietly sit down and open that book to gain the knowledge that is within, when we allow ourselves and take the time to quietly go within, we begin to reveal the beauty, the uniqueness and the knowledge that has been stored away for a lifetime. This year open the pages of your own life and reveal the truth that is held within. I promise you, you will love what you find inside. The world reveals day by day all that is contained upon and in Mother Earth. Do not be surprised any longer to that which shall be revealed to all of us around the world. For her secrets have always been there, it is to those who truly seek the truth with love and compassion in their hearts that shall find the greatest prize of knowing it all began and will end as it always has. May you be blessed with compassion and love in your hearts this new year for every living soul no matter their own journey, for their journey is the answers in which you truly seek. To be displayed before you is the greatest book you can ever open, for it is the book of truth and life, it is the book of knowledge with which you seek, it is the Alpha and Omega, it is the book written by God. See and go with him to seek the confession truth of who you truly are and allow it to reveal to you all that is within this will give to you the greatest gift as we enter this new year it will give you the greatest gift as there shall be many changes all over the world and with those who we see as an authoritative figure the world has much to be revealed and it is time for those revelations to begin 
In saying so, please take the time to read my own personal story of these past months and what is going on, where did she go? When we live our life in truth we find along the way we need to be the truth on many levels even if that takes us through a journey in which we do not want to allow others to be a part of, especially as a visionary with the truth as we see it. As a metaphysical teacher I teach teachers and with each teacher that graces my door I always tell them that which you are going through is that which is going to be brought to you and meaning whatever you are going through right now deal with for when you have learned that lesson when you have lived through it you then become the teacher to others and in doing so you cannot teach others if you have not lived through it yourself do your work be a clear and clean vehicle, be in integrity and then be that which is the teacher in you. For God shall bring those to grace your door who are living that which you just lived through. And how then can you assist them, if you have not lived through it yourself? This year of revelations be the truth and the light of God shall light your way in more ways than one. Love, laughter and light. Adele Marie